Good morning, Paul. Morning, sir. How are you? Everything okay? Everything's going great today. How about yourself? Doing good. It's the final day of uh, of, uh, of of summer, so we're looking forward to fall. All we need is a little rain, and uh, just it's it, it, it's. We were talking to the forestry guy a few moments ago. Thirteen thousand acres have already burned. Thirteen thousand acres. Some homes in there. Some businesses. Uh, some other property damaged. So people don't realize that. But when you have sixty-five percent of the entire state that is forested. Uh, it is a tremendous concern, but uh, I, I know you wanted to keep this time to, uh, or use this time to just salute a very critical industry, which uh, is forestry in our state. Well, it is a very important industry uh, in our state, and, and we've had some challenges over the last several uh, months. The, the lack of rain has led mm -hmm. to a burn ban in a majority of the counties in the state of Mississippi because many Mississippians uh, that have forest land um, it's their major asset. It's the, the primary uh, source uh, of their um, um, potential income uh, when they sell those lands, and so the, the fires are, are very concerning. But the other thing is that the, the industry itself is extremely important to our overall economy. I was able to announce that for the very first time ever I proclaimed the a week of October 15th is Mississippi Forest Products Week in Mississippi. Because when you look, think about the economic development that we've announced over the last three years, we've seen a significant increase in the number of forest products uh, industry um, announcements over the last couple of years. And literally there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in capital investments and putting thousands of Mississippians to work. The pellet industry is one of the things that's taken off here. There were some problems with um, maybe the, the the idea of pollution. I'm not sure where that stood. Yeah, no, the pellet industry is an important industry in our state for a, um, obviously the same reasons. It, it certainly mm -hmm. employs a large number of Mississippians, but it also takes the byproduct from many of the lumber uh, facilities. And so um, it, it, it is a way in which to... Uh, make the entire process more efficient, and then those pellets are used primarily in Europe, but but some um, in other places around the world uh, to pr produce energy um, in a way that is uh, cleaner than 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 we've seen in the past. You know, when I was doing those Mississippi Magics, when I, when you go back to a lot of the the great people in the state who are in the history books, uh, both entertainers, entrepreneurs, and else. It was amazing to me how many of them, their families, were there in in forestry and logging operations. I mean, uh, that was the backbone in the early years, certainly outside the Mississippi Delta. Well, well that's right, and, and the reason for that is one of our great natural resources in the state of Mississippi is the abundance of product when it comes mm -hmm. uh, to trees. The fact is... And this is the reason we're seeing such significant reinvestment in the timber industry and in the forest products industry is because we have a wood basket that is second to none, and I don't mean second to none in the southeast or second to none in the United States. We have a wood basket in Mississippi that is second to none in the entire world, and that's why you see so many companies investing uh, literally hundreds of millions of dollars in capital uh, because they want to be located where that wood basket is, and we've tried to develop a strategy uh, to take advantage of that because no. um, it helps the landowner significantly, and it helps those who work at the facilities. A lot of things work with that to 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 just get all you can from it, like infrastructure, the highways and byways, the ports, and everything else. So it, it kind of all works together, doesn't it? <laughs> of course, it works together. You know that's. Another advantage, uh, competitive advantage that Mississippi has that we're doing a, a good mm -hmm. job of taking um, advantage of now, and that is, you know, in our western border we have the Mississippi River. On our eastern border, for much of the way, we have the Tennessee Tom Bigby. So we have waterways, we have the ports on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We have tremendous um, resources when it comes to rail at many of the sites that we are trying to um, locate new business and industry there. And so it's really about having a long-term strategic plan to take advantage of those things that that, um, that we have in Mississippi that they don't have in other states. And it's the reason that we have um, the, the most economic development wins in the history of our state, over $6 billion in new capital expenditures 
uh, in 2022 alone. Um, it's the reason that we have the lowest unemployment rate in state history. It's the reason we have more people working in Mississippi than any time in our state's history. That's true. It's, it's I was just thinking about this. Of it. Um, I, do we have any uh, – we got people like Taylor Machinery, but we have others. I'm not sure if we have anybody who actually makes some of the equipment here in our state that uh, is involved in the uh, forestry and, and logging uh, uh, industry. Do you know if we do? Well, obviously, um, Taylor Machinery makes – a significant number of yeah. um, different types of, of vehicles, and they're they're expanding. By the way, they they just announced a I know. Uh, yeah. strategic partnership up in Lowndes County. Um, Listen, I, I hate to do this. We got only about twenty seconds left, and, and it's a short segment here. Hopefully, we could get together soon and and kind of unpack. Uh, this hospital association thing, we'll read over it on the weekend and, and see if we can visit that one day next week. Um, Want to learn more about that one. Governor, thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Paul. Y'all have a great day, too. You got it. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you Monday.